It can be tough to understand why victims of domestic abuse stay in those relationships for so long. But for those victims, it comes down to fear, financial security, and simply wanting to keep a family together no matter what. To bring awareness to the issue, KPLC's Erica Biven shares the story of one survivor who wants others to know the signs to look out for and when to get out. Well, we've agreed to keep our victim's identity hidden for her protection to allow her to share her story under the name Kelly. Kelly stayed in an abusive marriage for 20 years, believing her spouse after each incident and apology, saying he'd change. She learned firsthand the struggle of getting out and what supports out there for victims. So what real protection do victims of domestic violence have? When we first met, he was very persuasive, a gentleman very attractive. Kelly says she immediately fell for that man, the two marrying not long after. But that's when the control issue started. I wasn't able to leave home unless he knew exactly where I was going. If I went to work and came home 20 minutes late, um, you know, there was issues. Then things turned physical. Just pick me up, throw me across the room. Um, as long as in his mind it was a, an open hand, he wasn't physically harming me. There was mental abuse too. Couldn't be skinny enough, couldn't be heavy enough, couldn't have the hair right color. No matter how strong of a person you are, it breaks you down and you begin to believe what that person's telling you. For 20 years, Kelly endured what she calls progressive abuse from a man who also abused drugs and alcohol. But one day, she'd finally had enough. He came into the home and I was sleeping, strangled me to the point where I was unconscious. I reached out for help at that point. Kelly called authorities who arrested her husband and filed for a restraining order. But even then, she didn't feel safe. It's just a piece of paper. The effectiveness of the restraining order depends on the perpetrator. Kathy Williams, executive director for the Oasis Women's Shelter, says... You know, if they fear losing their job or they fear um, you know, being arrested for violating it, they're going to follow it. If they are just that mad, that angry, that they don't care what happens to them, it is a piece of paper. Victims can obtain a restraining order through the shelter or from the clerk of court's office. Unfortunately, William says the victims and cases they're seeing are getting more dangerous. In fact, a new report out by the Violence Policy Center says Louisiana now ranks number two in the country when it comes to men murdering women. We have been number four for the last couple of years that we got the reports. And the reports are two years behind, so the 2014 year, we have moved up from number four to number two. Before things escalate, Williams says it's important victims report restraining order violations. You need to call law enforcement and have them do something about them uh, violating the first time. You need to call us immediately. Calcasieu Parish Sheriff Tony Mancuso says while a restraining order is a tool, when it comes to their effectiveness. You know, it's, it's not foolproof. Mancuso says they have hundreds of restraining orders currently in their system, their caseload on the rise. We've handled the sheriff's office in 2015 about 1,500 domestic violent cases. And it looks like we're on track to, to carry on that, almost that exact same number this year. His advice? Call authorities, get to the shelter or another safe spot. And get the proper documentation to give us some teeth um, to, to help protect you. A paper trail not always there for victims. The charges from 10 years ago, you know, I dropped them as an affidavit. Calcasieu District Attorney John DeRossier says victims recanting their statements or dropping charges is common, but doesn't help them when it comes time to prosecute. Probably 70% of the time, the female victim will come in and file an affidavit of non-prosecution. DeRossier says it's because the victim has no means of support except for the husband or fear. For Kelly, she believed her husband's words. Being told time and time again, if you leave, I will kill you. If, when a person tells you that, you do become afraid. However, DeRossier says dropping charges can be a green light for some violators. Plus, domestic violence is progressive. And if you don't check it, if you don't break that cycle early on, you're going to have a, a serious injury or a homicide. And as you well know, over the years, we've had a number of homicides based on domestic violence. We had uh, four deaths in Calcasieu Parish since October 1 last year. 
And in Calcasieu, there's no signs of slowing down. Most of the murders that we handle are either drug related or domestic violence. If that tells you anything. So if a restraining order is just a piece of paper, what safety net do victims have? Well, you know, we never advocate violence. But you know what? In the state of Louisiana, you have the right to protect yourself. Mancuso cautions victims to get trained before arming themselves. Kelly listened, but the fear remains. My biggest fear is that I will be one of the statistics. I will be a victim and my children will have to come visit me in a grave and not run and give me a hug. Because I have, there's no doubt in my mind that he doesn't sit and stir on this every day and he will come looking for me. Not that she regrets getting out, but life for her has forever changed. Couch hopping, changing her routine. My life has been turned upside down home. I don't know where that is. I stay up during the night and I sleep during the day. She says she reached out to us in hopes of helping others. For those that are still in the situation that they get out and they seek help. When asked what she's fighting for, just two words. My life. Even now, with a restraining order and carrying a gun, Kelly says she still doesn't feel safe, always looking over her shoulder. But she says at least she stood up to her abuser. And she hopes this story and her message can help those going through a similar situation and to get out and find help. At your service, Erica Bivens, KPLC 7 News. The Oasis Women's Shelter is open 24 hours a day. You can reach them by calling 1-800-799-SAFE. We've posted a link to their website as well as statistics, reports, and information about an upcoming women's self-defense course provided by the Sheriff's Office. That's all listed on our website at kplctv.com. There you can also click on a web extra video outlining the different ways a victim can get a restraining order.